Okay, continuing with our unit six test review. So for number three, this particular question, the idea is if an inscribed angle intercepts the same arc, then those angles are congruent. So for example, in this case, N, that inscribed angle, its intercepted arc is here, which is arc QG. And so if you think which angle also intercepts this arc, well, the answer would be L, right? L, that inscribed angle, intercepts the arc QG as well. So because N and L both intercept arc QG, then it means an N and L are congruent. So that means we could set these congruent. So 12X plus six equals 25Y plus four. And then using the same principle, Q intercepts arc NL, and so does angle G. So those have to be congruent. So we can set those equal to each other. All right, so now notice, like a lot of the problems we've done all year, we have a resulting system of equations. So couple ways you could do it. I would just get your x's and y's on one side and then your constants to the other side. So if you do that, I'm not going to run through that because we've done systems a bunch. But if you do that, you'd get x equals 4 and y equals 2. So then we're looking for eventually to solve for angle QMN. So really this angle is our x. So what we could do now that we have x and y is plug them back in for the angles. So angle Q is here. So that's 6x plus 10. We know that x is 4. So angle Q is, what do we get, 34. And then if we plug x and y in for n, we would get 54. We plug our x and y in. So then how do we get angle QMN? Well, it's a triangle, so it has to add to 180. So 180 minus 34 plus 54, we would get 92 for angle M, or angle QMN. Okay, so it's not all the work, but again, we've done a bunch of systems, so hopefully you're okay with that part. Like always, feel free if you have any questions to reach out.